Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of my Python Plays Minecraft Let's Play. We're on the 13th episode, my friends, unlucky for some, but hopefully not unlucky for us, my friends. And once again, I want to thank you guys for the amount of support you've been showing for this series. If, of course, we can keep up the like ratings and everything like that, that'd be very, very much appreciated, my friends. So, yeah, we are starting off by grabbing some gravel, because today is the day that we're going to be working on the sort of ground floor of the tree stump base thingy. Yeah, that basically is going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. So yeah, we just grab this stuff, a whole bunch of stuff. And from that, we should be able to make ourselves some coarse dirt because we are going to be doing some things with coarse dirt, I tell you. Coarse dirt indeed. All right, so let's just roam back over this way. We're going to go to the clearing. In fact, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. Before we do anything, I want to try and do something. Oh, wait, it's right there, isn't it? <laughs> I was just going to say, where's the staircase gone to the top of the canopy? Dang idiot. All right, here we go. So if we go over here, I've got a barrage of bows that I want to try and combine to make something cool. So that will give on breaking three punch one. And then if I combine it with that, then it's going to be sort of a mini god bow. So eight levels, or if we put it the other way, it's going to be 12 levels. So if we do it this way, there we go. Eight levels, bada bing, bada boom. And 13 levels or six levels. There we go. Look at that, man. Got ourselves a nice little bow right here. I'm breaking and punch. And of course, we freed up a couple of inventory slots. Hey, man, I ain't going to complain about that. I mean, our XP has pretty much been nullified. We're down to seven levels. Oh, man. But uh, yeah, let's head on over to the clearing. And uh, let's see what kind of things we can come up with with regards to the ground floor things that we're going to be doing today, my friends. Did I just pick up an egg? Dude, I swear to God, I keep picking up eggs. They're like literally everywhere. A boom! Yeah, and another one. There we go. <laughs> oh, look, there's another one. A boom! God diggity damn. Right, but uh, yeah, we are on the latest snapshot as of the uh, as of the recording of this episode. We're on 16W04A. This is actually the first snapshot I'm trying of the uh, 2016 ones. The last one I was using, of course, was 15W50, I believe it was. So yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty dang cool, but yeah, I, I thought it'd be about time to go ahead and upgrade to a slightly more, dang it, a slightly more recent snapshot, I guess, so that's exactly what I've gone ahead and done. I did do a little bit of testing beforehand, and it does seem pretty stable. The boats have been uh, revamped a little bit again, they've been made a bit quicker, uh, that you, do, you don't have to, like, steer individual oars to get the boat going again, you know what I mean? So, yeah, you know, it's pretty cool. And they keep saying that the official 1.9 update is rolling closer and closer. But, you know, it would be kind of nice if there was a bit of a release day or something like that. But then again, I can understand why they wouldn't have a release date. Because, you know, then they'd feel pressured to get something out to you guys. So, I don't know. I, I understand it, but I don't like it. You know, it's just one of those things. It's, it's just one of those things. It really is. Right, there we go. And then, of course, we're going to do the center area here. Because what's going to happen, my friends, is we're going to put a combination of utility blocks, like chests and furnaces. And we're going to have ourselves leaves and foliage all over the place. So if we just do a little something-something, just randomize this up a little bit. And maybe if we... Uh, yeah, I'm going to say keep that like that. We'll have a bit of that, perhaps. Uh, yep, yeah, that's looking good. So... Let's, uh, let's start randomly placing down some of these utility blocks, so... Oh, that was, uh, that's unintentional. Lol. Alright, uh, we'll have some furnaces scattered around the place, perhaps. Uh, one right there. We'll have one, uh, let's say here and here and also here. Uh, yep, that seems pretty equally spaced. And then the rest of it is going to be put... Well, it's going to be filled with chests, so a little bit of that. I think we're going to need a little bit more chests, so... Or are we going to have the perfect amount? Oh, we're one away, man. It has to be one, doesn't it? It has to be one. It always has to be one. God diggity damn. All right, let's just, uh, let's just chop down a tree. Or, well, all we need to do is get two pieces of wood. So if I just roll over here really quick and do a bit of that, a bit of that. There we go. That's it. We're done. <laughs> we've got the thing going. Oh, no, we're going to put a jukebox down, weren't we? Ooh, I almost forgot, man. I almost forgot it, but I didn't. See? You see? My memory almost gave way. It almost gave way. It almost made me forget things. But I, I, I bought it back. I bought it back, man. We're all good. But then, again, we've got chests. Oh, my God. There's blooming spaces all over the place. And I'm pretty sure I just squeaked. So I apologize for that, lol. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I'll tell you what. Let me go ahead and get some more wood. And we'll fill these spaces in. And, yeah, we'll see how it looks once it is all filled in. 
Alrighty guys, here we are back in action and as you can see all of the utility blocks and the leaves are all in place And it's all looking really really nice. We've got like furnaces all over the place chests and crafting tables as you saw before But yeah, I think for the rest of the episode what I'd like to do is I'd actually like to do a bit of exploring And at the same time, I'd quite like to try and grab a horse from somewhere I don't think we've seen any horses so far in this series in fact, we've, we've not seen a lot of things in this series so far, so, you know, we have certain things that we need to do. <laughs> it is, it's weird to say, but the reason why I don't explore a whole bunch at the start is because um, I like to keep my, like, uh, world sort of file size is small. Like at the moment, it's only like 32 meg or so, but my old Python Plays Minecraft uh, Series 1, or World 1, World size came to like 250 meg or so probably even bigger than that but uh yeah that was a that was a thing i try not to explore too much simply because i don't want to have my files just be too big and therefore take well therefore you guys won't have to wait so long for the download to be done so yeah but yeah here we go we have our bane of other buds 4 fire aspect 2 book that we fished out quite a while ago we're gonna make that into a sword because it's got fire aspect on it and i imagine that's gonna be very useful for getting ourselves cooked food as we do our exploring so how are we going to do this you may be wondering i for the most part what tends to happen is swamp biomes tend to be connected to forest biomes. Now, I don't know if that's the case every time, but I feel like all of the times where I've come across a swamp biome, there's always a forest biome right next to it. So, what I'm thinking is we go into... Should we say that forest biome over there? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. We'll go in that forest biome. We'll see if we can't find any other biomes sort of linking to it. If we can, obviously, that'd be awesome. If not, then no worries. But, yeah. Things are looking good. Oh, man. So, I guess while we're doing this, we can... Uh, I'll tell you what, let's actually jump into the comment question of the video before we do this. Just, just so we have something to talk about. And it comes from Elf XL Gaming, And he has this to say. Python, do you think there should be special weapons that can only be obtained from bosses or chests in structures? Now, believe it or not, way back in the day, Dinnerbone put out a tweet saying that he was actually going to do that exact thing. You know, having special weapons, special armor with special sort of attributes attributed to them. You know, all that kind of thing would be put onto special armor, special weapons that would only be found by defeating bosses or in chests in special structures, for example. And, well, as far as I know, no progress has been made towards that, which really does suck because it means... And I hate to say it, it means another unfulfilled idea that they had. For example, another one of their unfulfilled ideas that they had was the possibility of adding seasons into Minecraft. So, you know, again, that was an idea I would have been pretty damn hyped about, but they pretty much pulled the plug in it. And I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of heartbroken because I think having seasons in Minecraft would be, like, the best thing ever. It really would. You'd have, like, snow and forest biomes and all kinds of things. I mean, yeah, it would be pretty damn difficult to try and implement in the way that, you know, what happens if it's summer in a snow biome, you know, would the snow melt or something like that, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I don't know, I just find it, I, f I just find it strange, I guess. They, they say they're gonna potentially add all these things and they just flat out don't and they, well, they don't even try to as far as I know either, which is a bit heartbreaking. But uh, why have I gone on to a rant about Minecraft? Let's move on to, uh, let's move on to something else. Let's move on to the thing that involves my second channel. Because recently, I decided to start up my Python GB2 channel again. And as a result of that, what's now happened is all of my Call of Duty and eventual Destiny content will now be posted on the Python GB2 channel. So, of course, I'll give it a bit of a plug. If you guys are interested in the Call of Duty content that did go out on this channel, then be sure to go ahead, look in the description, or click on the annotation, which I'm going to put up on screen for you guys. And you'll be taken to the Python GB2 channel. And if you want to, go ahead and hit that sub button. But aside from that, we're, we're, we're moving on, my friends. We appear to have come across an ocean biome, which is kind of cool. So we have an ocean biome pretty much to the... What way is this? North? We have an ocean biome to the north of our, you know, our canopy city. That's kind of cool, man. I'm okay with that. Uh, looks like we're going to be running out of chicken very shortly, though. Uh, luckily, we actually have a bed. 
That was actually unintentional. The only reason I have that is because I picked it up from the uh, from the tree stump place. It was only a temporary bed even then. But, uh, you know, unintentional awesomeness for the wind. Yeah! <laughs> Oh dear. But as always guys, if you guys ever have any questions or you have anything you want to say in an attempt to get your thing shouted out in the comment question of the video, then be sure to leave your suggestions in the comments area below. And of course you'll have a chance if you has been used and your name shouted out and I heard a baby zombie. Hold on. I hear you. You're down here somewhere. Oh, please be a dungeon man. If you're a dungeon, I'm going to be the happiest guy in the world, dudes. Like, seriously, I would be. Hmm. Right, I tell you what. We're not even going to try and do this on camera. We are just going to try and find him straight out. So, yeah, back in a sec, folks. Ah, looks like it is, it's just a regular... Ah, turns out it's just a regular cave. Uh, unless there's something around here? Uh, no, not by the looks of it. Although, you know, a bit of exploration can't hurt. Uh, I'm looking for skeleton dungeons more than anything because I don't think we've come across any of them yet. And obviously by having one of them we could turn it into a spawner and get ourselves a whole bunch of drops. That would be freaking sweet. Right, okay. Well, at least we now know we have this cave here in case we ever want to come back. So, I'll tell you what, I'm going to do a little bit of the old, let's, let's torch it up action. Yes, that's a good, good idea. Oh dear, it's night time. We need to do a thing. We need to do a thing that involves sleeping. Ah! Uh, oh god! This is like every single horror movie ever! We're gonna get cornered! Uh oh. Alright, come on, man! Ah, the combat update! I'm doing exactly that at the moment. Right, here we go. Ah, go to sleep, go to sleep. There we go. Ah, uh, oh, hello, chicken. You appear to be watching me sleep. Are you quite alright, sir? Because that's not really something I would advise that you do, because it's kind of weird. Okay? It's kind of weird. You really shouldn't do it, alright? Okay, so it looks like we've got a mountain biome coming up. We actually already have a mountain biome beside our canopy city. Uh, is that a floating island? What the hell, man? That's an actual floating island. We could totally have ourselves a mini skyblock let's play within this let's play. Dude, that'd be hilarious if anybody actually did that. <laughs> oh, look, we found skyblock. Oh, yay, unintentional skyblock. Let's play. Let's do this thing. A boom, a boom. As you can see, I'm trying to crit them so I can get one shot kills and get all their meat. Mmm, there we go. Get all the stuff. Beautiful. All right, let's keep going, my friends. That sounds suspiciously close. Uh. Could it be there's a skeleton dungeon above ground level? Where is that? Where is that? There's something going on here. There's got to be something down here, man. We're going to search for it. Oh. Hello. I found them. Oh, God. <laughs> there's loads and loads of skeletons. Okay, come on, Diamond Armor. It's all down to you, bud. Come up. Ah. Oh, I need my uh, smite sword back here. Here we go. Oh, hello. Uh, there appears to be a lot of guys around here. Holy moly. God damn. They're literally everywhere. Ha! Boom! Alright, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. We good, we good, we good. We good, we good. We good. We're not good. We're not good. There's a bunch of people in there. Holy crap, holy. Dude, what the hell? There's so many people. Ha! Boom! Kill! Kill everything! Kill it with fire! Kill it with fire! I will not be killed while I have diamond armor on me, son. Thank you. All right. Now then. Is there a skeleton dungeon around here? Seriously, for real? There's all these skeletons and there's no dungeon? Wow, I'm actually kind of surprised, dudes. I'm very, very surprised, in fact. Oh, God. Ah! Ah! Think you're smart, don't you? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay. 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 Talk about a lot of combat going on. Oh, my God. These guys are relentless. All right, all right, we good, we good. All right, cool, cool. Oh God, what is going on? There's so many people. Jeez, holy moly! All I wanted to do was see if there was a skeleton dungeon. I didn't want to get ambushed. God damn. Oh, well, uh, at least we, uh, at least we got down to the bottom of that tail. Awesome. All right, sweet. Let's keep going. Oh. Guys, it's literally just been like 10 seconds since the last cut and I found my- Oh crap. I found myself a desert biome. This isn't even that far away. It's not even a thousand blocks away. 
Huh. That's kind of cool, but it looks like we also have ourselves a massive plains biome here. So I'm hoping that we might be able to find ourselves a little bit of the old horsey horsey action. And then of course we can grab ourselves a horse and moving around is going to be so much easier. What the hell? Dudes, I could see three sheep in my peripheral vision. What? I thought pink sheep were the rarest spawning sheep there are. Huh? Dudes, this is incredible. We've come across all these pink sheep. <laughs> I always thought they were extremely rare. See, look, there's the second one. And the third one is just over here. Right? Yeah, there he is. Look at him. I can't believe it. Three pink sheep. <laughs> Brilliant. And don't worry, guys. I spotted it before you did. There is a swamp by him here indeed, ladies and gentlemen. About freaking time, man. In fact, that wasn't too bad. Again, it's less than a thousand blocks away from our place. So, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. The only thing is we don't have iron. Wait, do we have shears? Oh, we do have shears. Holy crap. Oh, my God. <laughs> Unintentional being prepared for the wind, dudes. That's amazing. Alright, uh, I wonder if they fix the thing where if I get rid of the top part... Ah, oh, no, it won't get rid of all of it. It won't give me all of it, more to the point. Like, for example, if I were to go ahead and cut this part, I would expect it to also drop this part, but it doesn't. It just gives me one, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Alright, we are going to go ahead and grab ourselves a, a whole bunch of these. Uh, I want to say probably a stack, because I'd quite like to make a vine farm when I get home. Because then that would alleviate the need to go back here, I guess. Unless we find a witch hut. I have never ever made a witch farm before, ladies and gentlemen. I think that could be a pretty cool project to do at some point. But I'm not entirely sure just yet. I'm not exactly a redstone genius. In fact, not by any stretch of the imagination. So, yeah, you know, if you expect me to do all these fancy schmancy redstone contraptions. Nah! -ah. <laughs> I normally build for the most part, so yeah, that's a thing. Right, so right, let's keep going, my friends. Ooh, guys, look, an acacia biome, otherwise known as a savanna biome. Obviously, it doesn't have like the murky, greeny, browny colors because I've got a custom color map installed on the resource pack. So basically, it makes all biomes look really lush and green. So, for example, if I was to go ahead and do a little bit of this, we would of course have, you know, the normal colours, but obviously I don't really like that because it just seems a bit murky to me, so I just put this on, and bada bing bada boom, we got some lush green grass. It's so beautiful. Oh my god, desert bunnies! <laughs> oh, look at these little folks! Oh, look at them! <laughs> Rushing around like little headless chickens. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure these are the only passive mob that actually spawns in desert biomes. You actually get little proper desert bunnies, you can see, because they sort of camouflage into the sand with their color. I like it, man. I like that there's finally a passive mob that spawns in desert biomes. Awesome. Whoa, I found a 1.9 village, folks. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It looks so fancy. Wait, we should be able to find beetroots here, right? Oh, my God. Dudes, we managed to get we're managing to get all kinds of things today, man. I'm pretty damn happy about this. All right, let's pick up some of these. Uh, let's pick up some of these here beetroots, man. Ah, oh, can't believe it. Finally, we got some beetroots inside of this series, and the rest of it we pretty much don't really need because, well, you know, we already have it, don't we? So yeah. All right. Uh, any more beets around here? Uh, yeah. It looks like there's some up here. Cool. Taking it all, man. I'm pillaging this village, but I'm going to be nice and I'm going to plant this stuff back down, okay? I'm going to do it. And it looks like there's also a blacksmith building to explore at some point, too. Uh, but in the meantime, we're just going ahead and picking up these here beets. Yeah. Picking up damn sick beets, though. Right. Uh, any more for any more? Uh, it doesn't appear to be. Oh, right. Yeah, we should get the uh, bookshelves as well, right? And because I've got Silk Touch, I'll be able to get them straight out as well. Uh, nope, still nothing hidden in them. Uh, oh, oh yeah, that's right, we've got new loot tables, haven't we? Ah, very fancy schmancy. I'm going to chuck the bow out, uh, we're going to chuck the zombie flesh out, and we're going to chuck away uh, the seeds. But, of course, we can't leave without the chest, so I'm going to go ahead and chuck away the... Uh, I'm going to say chuck away the gravel. There we go. Alright, sweet! 
I'm pretty damn happy with found this. Holy crap, guys. I think I've just come across a skeleton dungeon. I heard one skeleton, then I heard many skeletons, and, well, I, I, we, we done did it, my friends. We finally found a skeleton dungeon, and it's on the way back as well. I, actually, I was actually starting to make my way back to the base, as it were. Uh, oh, God. I should probably switch to this thing. God! I shall not be wrecked today, son. Go on. And you. Hey, 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 hey. Don't be smart with me. God! Get out of here. Get out of here. I think you're so smart, don't you? Nah. -uh. Uh, oh, wow. That's a lot of stuff. Uh, got another record disc, some more beetroot seeds. Oh, a name tag. That'd be kind of cool. Hey, I am going to take that and I'm going to put away the dark oak sapling simply because we already have a bunch. And we got a new music disc. Hey, we good up in this, son. Ah, uh, sweet. All right. It's only a single. Wait, did I pick up the other chest? Huh. Must have left it somehow. Arrows. No, no. Nope. Nope. Ah, ah, da, da. I'm getting out of here, man. I ain't doing this. I ain't doing this. I'm getting out. Ow. Thanks. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Here we are back at home. And actually, I should probably go ahead and get in a safer place than just standing outside, huh? <laughs> Alright. Pretty successful trip, if I do say so myself. Obviously, you win some, you lose some in the way that uh, we didn't manage to get a horse, unfortunately. But here's what we did manage to get. We got cactus. We got a bunch of bookshelves. We got ourselves a bunch of vines. We got some acacia saplings. We got some beetroot and beetroot seeds. And of course, some acacia wood. So, yeah, pretty pretty fruitful endeavor. And more to the point, we have a bunch more food to last us a fair while. So, I'm pretty happy with that, my friends. But for now, it is time to end off the episode. Not very often we do exploration episodes. But obviously, if you guys want to see more episodes like this, then be sure to drop a like rating. And of course, you guys can subscribe if you want to know in the future videos are out but that is it for today thank you so much for watching my friends my name is Python, and i'll see you guys in the next episode